<laughs> yeah. But yeah, man. Uh, look, Jordan. A lot, a lot has happened in the last what seventy two hours, right? Yeah. I wanted, I wanted to take my time and, cause I've, I've in the past I've been guilty of like having like the Twitter fingers, right? Like, oh man, yeah. like you know what I mean, like and having a snap, a snap judgment on anything that's happened. So I want to take the time for like to us like have take a step back and think about like how important this decision is because of yeah. how it's been in the past, right? Like we've yeah. for the last 20 years, you've we've only seen bad hires over bad hire. Yeah. Right. So what what do you think in your opinion, right, might be different this time? Um I like how you phrased it. It might be different this time, right? I think yeah, we all yeah. have so much hope. You know, yes, that's um, all we have, right? That's all yeah. we have. Well, one Ted Lasso one of the says is the that, hope that kills you. Sorry, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> there's so there's a few things that give me optimism, right? Because okay. you know, my, kind of my um, people know me for being somewhere between negative and realistic, right? Pessimistic yep. and realistic. Um, so I'm definitely not going to sugarcoat it, but there are reasons to have hope. Um, one is, is, you know, it came out that the school's president, Julio Frank, um, has greenlighted the, uh, I guess the sharing of funds between U health and the athletic program. So for a long time, Donna Shalala, she instituted a policy that was that the athletic program at Miami had to be financially solvent or self-sufficient. Um, mm. That means so not only football had to support itself, but also had to support the dozens of sports that don't make any money, that they're, right. they're money pits, right? Um, there's a number of them. Mm. So, mm. I mean, I think it was only men's basketball and men's football that even turned a profit. Um, don't quote me on that. That right. might not be entirely accurate, but, um, so yeah, now, now we're going to be able to share funds with you health. So we're going to have a big influx of cash into the program. Hopefully that changes some things. So that's something I'm pe- uh, optimistic about. Um, another thing is, is that there's clearly a response to the fan vitriol that's been happening lately. You know, so many people have become jaded, calloused you know, insert adjective here um, yep. when it comes to the football program, because we've seen it over and over again, right? Five hires in a mm-hmm. row yes. that were either bad hires or just didn't work out. You know, I, yep. my opinion on the Mark, Mark Rick, Rick thing is, is didn't that work it was, out. Yep. It was, yeah, it was the right hire at the time. Um, it didn't go well. I don't know if there's blame to go around, but I mean, we got to the Orange Bowl one year, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm like, if this doesn't work out, like they think this is ugly, (laughs) you know, if Julio Frank Mm -hmm. is concerned about getting blasted by college game day on national TV, um, Kirk Herbstreit did it. Yeah. Yeah. Just wait until this hire doesn't work out. Right. (laughs) Because it's going to be a lot worse. It's just getting worse every time. Right. I think the sentiment is that Manny Diaz, like this has been a bigger failure than what Al Golden was. And the problem with that is, like, it's just, it's snowballing at this point, right? We're so tired of it. We're so, like, just being dragged down by this perpetual cycle of mediocre at best um, that I I genuinely yep. think that people are just going to stop caring, you know? Like, the the people who take John's attitude towards the team is going to multiply exponentially. Um, I mean, honestly, if they didn't make changes... Yep. I'm not sure I'd be like, I, I would have contemplated stopping making content for the hurricanes because how can you do this year after year? You know, I mean, the fours up podcast got burned out because we, we actually put out a show. um, I mean, I'm not speaking for anyone, but myself, you know, Um, I'm not speaking for Marsh here, but like we put out a show before Alabama, a preview show. And mm-hmm. we just got annihilated. We didn't even show up to play, right? Yep. I didn't expect us to win, but I wanted us to look like we cared. <laughs> you know, yeah. I wanted us to yep. look like a division one power. Like you belong on the game. same field. Yeah. Yeah. Game was over in six minutes, yeah. man. And so yeah. after that, it was just like, what do I have to say about these games? Like what what is there to say? You know? And and that's kind of mm-hmm. 
If this hire doesn't work out, what will there be to say on